Hey guys, JD here. So we got an easy money trade finish coming up here. We got 40 seconds to hold on. This one was a lot closer than I like, but that's traded, right? You know, as long as we can get out of here, we got 37 seconds to hold on. Cash pushing up. The cat was very strong. Um, the Swiss was only had one bar. The cat had five bars on our uh, currency strength meter. So, you know, if I can go over there real quick. Oh, you can't see it, but yeah, cab was strong. Swiss had one bar. All right, here we go. Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Say it with me. Easy money. Hey guys, JD here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one price action strategy that can change your trading journey today. All right, so if you look back over or go back through some of these videos on here on my YouTube channel, go through my catalog, you're gonna see a lot of setups, all right? I've taught a lot of different setups over the years. But to make money in the market, if you can just focus on one setup and master just one price action setup your whole trade and journey can change okay currently i'm doing one setup i'm doing the easy money setup that i've updated in my course that you saw at the beginning of this video it's the intro that's it that's all i'm going to take all summer right now i know a lot of setups but why be glued to a monitor all day why be glued to the charts all day you know why be greedy trying to take every setup known to price action all right <laughs> when I could take one setup, make my money for the day, going about my life, right? So if you wanna just make some money, right? Focus on one setup, right? Take one price action setup, if you know one, take one price action setup over and over and over, right? Just practice, practice, practice till you get that one setup down because you only need one setup to make money, right? You, you do not have to have a thousand setups i've told this story before i'll tell it again my wife won like her first 28 trades doing nothing but taking range fades when she first got started because that's all she knew that's all she focused on so just one setup can make the difference so in this video what i want to do is i'm going to show you one of my favorite setups in price action trading which is second entries okay so if you don't know the market moves in twos and it loves to trend up trend back retracement and then trend continuation that's a two-legged move the market moves in twos and so the second entry is a natural pattern that happens every day in trading especially in price action trading where you're just paying attention to the price charts okay so we're going to go over to some charts and uh, we're going to just point out some second entries i'm going to show you how to find them how to trade them how to enter on them how to profit from them right let's go over to the charts okay so we're on some charts so second entries are best taken in a trending market so the first thing that you need to figure out as a price action trader is what is the market doing all right that's that's always your first job to know what the market is doing so in this case um i i would say that the market is trending down well how do i know that so i'm gonna teach you three different ways to tell what a market is doing the first and easiest way we're gonna start with the easiest way is to put a 21 exponential moving average on your chart okay if prices are under the 21 ema for an extended period of time or or if it's angling down we're trending down if it's angling up we're trending up but in this case it's down so i clearly know that that's that's the first way at a glance to know what the market is doing another way to know what the market is doing is to just look for let me find a pin. It's just to look for, um, see what it's doing. So here's a high, okay? Push down, came back up. This is a lower high, okay? Market pushed down some more, tried to come back up, couldn't push down again. This is another lower high, okay? Market pushed down, came back again. This is another lower high. 
All right. Came down, pushed up, shot back down again. This is another lower high. If the market is steady making lower highs and lower lows, lower low, lower low, lower low, you're in a downtrend. Okay. So the first way to know if you're trending is just to simply put a 21 EMA on there. The next way is to um, see if you're making lower highs and lower lows. The last way to see if you're trending is to actually use an old school trend line. Just grab a trend line and you know put it at the top. But I mean, this this last one, you, I mean, this last one is really pointless if you're using the 21 EMA. I mean, just use 21 EMA. But anyway, okay, boom. If prices are staying under the trend line, well, we're we're trending down, right? Or if I put it over here, we're trending down. Okay, so we know we're trending down. All right. So now, if you understand the market cycle and the rule of two, with most trends, you're going to get a trend down, a trend break. And then a retest to new low that is a classic market cycle okay so what's happening right here this whole piece right here of price action is a classic market cycle this is the market cycle market cycle okay we got a trend down we got two legs back of correction and then a retest to new low okay now you have to understand the market cycle beforehand <laughs> all right to be able to see this and trade it but you know that's what learning is for that's what practice is for that's, that's what we're making this video for all right so you can understand how the market moves and then begin to take advantage of those movements in real time so if you had been watching the market at this point anywhere around here you know you already know all right we're trending down all right then when you get this good drop right here, which really is a drop base drop, that's a whole nother setup. I'm not going to discuss it right now. You know, you're in a good downtrend. Okay. So I would say when you see this spot right here, you know, you really have to keep yourself from entering the market because at this point you're too far away from the 21 EMA. I love the 21 EMA again because it's a moving average. So the average price is up here, right? So when prices is down here, you don't want to go short. I actually, if anything, you want to counter trend trade in this situation and go long because you know you're too far away from the 21 EMA and it's probably going to act as a magnet. And so, I mean, if hey, if you entered here, that was that was an easy trade. I'm not telling you to counter trend trade. But I'm just explaining to you the dynamics of price action trading with the 21 EMA. You know, once prices is this far away from the from the average price, we're probably going to come back to it. Okay. But under since let's get back to understanding the market cycle. Since we know that the market moves in twos, right? Since we know the market moves in twos, what you got to look at is that we got a nice leg right here. This is one leg down. You know, we were trending under the EMA got a beautiful leg then right here is the first break all right so at this point right here when, when the market comes back right here as a price action trader who understands the market cycle who understands the rule of two we're not expecting prices to keep coming back up here that's not our expectation our expectation is that the market moves in twos so it's probably going to push down and then it's going to try to come back again because it moves in twos so i'm already expecting this leg here to happen i'm expecting two legs of correction this is leg one right here this one is leg two and i'm already expecting it when there's nothing on the chart okay just because i understand price action so again back here at this point I'm like all right so this is this is our first leg up so we got a trend down pull back trend break this is this is the first leg of retracement I'm looking for that pattern again and you get it right here try to come down again oh, oops it tried to come down again right here stop short and then start to push up again now this high is higher than this one now we're now we got something setting up so now 
when I'm reading this, when I'm reading the price chart, we have a trend down. One push down, two legs of correction. All right. If we start counting from the bottom right here, this is a push up first entry. You don't go here because this is just a first entry and we're looking for a second entry. So notice how this price is low. Then we got higher. Then we went higher. Then we went higher. Then we went higher. Then we went higher. This candle right here is the first candle that breaks lower. That makes your first entry. Okay. If you're counting, if you're trying to figure out the second entry by counting the bars, bar by bar, that's how you do it. You're looking if as long as the long as the lows are still getting higher and higher and higher, you're looking for that first one that breaks lower. That's your second entry. Okay. I mean, excuse me. That's your that's your first entry. That would be the first opportunity to enter. But again, you don't want to go there because first entries aren't as um, efficient as second entries. Nowhere nowhere near close. Because can you guess? Can you guess before I say it? because the market moves in twos. So you have to wait. And I'm gonna tell you, this is something that you have to practice because not going here on this candle, it's just really hard to do. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful, it's huge, it's right off the EMA. You know, it looks like you're gonna make, start another, it looks like the trend is gonna start right here. It takes a lot of practice, okay, to not go right here. I mean, it takes a lot of discipline to not pull the trigger on that candle because it, it looks great. I mean, if all you can see is this, this push up and then it's huge, you know, you're like, oh, we rejected those prices. You know, prices couldn't get higher than this. Yeah, that's rejected. We, I mean, it takes a lot of discipline not to go right there. But I'm trying to tell you right now, do not take first entries. The whole point of taking one setup is to be patient enough, disciplined enough to wait for your setup so you can then finally start to have success. So waiting waiting for your second entry really helps build up your discipline. It helps build up your patience and it's going to make you a lot of money, a lot more money in the long run cuz I'm telling you right now, first entries, you win them sometimes. Sure enough you will, but most of the time you won't. Okay, now, but like this one, at three minutes, you would have won. One, two, three. Um, if you're in futures market and going for one point, you would have won. I mean, so there you have it right there. You would have won, but you really want to wait for the second entry. So what happens is this. This was the first entry. So then you're waiting, you're waiting. You don't go here because this is a terrible signal candle. Okay, you don't go here because this one is smaller and it didn't break lower either. So then now you're, you're just waiting again for that same situation. So look low higher 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 boom right here finally broke lower this right here is your second entry candle this is the candle you want to take right you know what let me get rid of that right here that puppy right there that's your second entry candle all right and so in binary options i mean it's up to you how long you want to go Ex people like different expiration times i typically like three minutes on second entries but then again depending on the sometimes i like five minutes um i have a friend who likes two minutes you know some of my students i think they're doing one minute because they get a lot more trades in on the same entry so that's going to be up to you if you're in the binary options market the expiration time so but let's just say three minutes in this case i mean because three or five would either one of them would have worked one two three works one two three four five works so however you want to do it so three minutes would have worked now let's say you're in the futures market right and you take this same setup many times in the futures market we're looking for a scalper's profit which is one point this is this is easily one point on this first bar right here. I mean, you would have been out of that trade in 30 seconds probably. Uh, you would enter here, you would go one point, you would put your stop behind this green candle right here. This is where your stop would go up behind here. If you was in the futures market, boom, that'd be an easy scalp. And 
if you don't move in, I mean, you could also get a runner on this too. If you're doing two or three contracts, you might got you might have got a runner on that. This candle came back. It depends on whether you moved into break even. If you move into break even after your scalp, you got knocked out. That would have been unfortunate because then that mug dropped. Man, it dropped. That would have been a heartbreaker if you were in futures. If you're in the forex, same deal. You enter, you know, you enter right here. You know, you put your stop above, you know, last these last highs here. And that's a beautiful forex trade. I don't know how many pips you would have got on that, but if you just start trailing behind after you get it, man, I mean, so you entered here, it pushed down, came up. As soon as this thing dropped lower here, you move your stop to here. It came back here and dropped again. You move, you lock in here. It came back, pulled back, dropped again. You lock in here. <laughs> it pushed down, came back, dropped down. You lock in here. Man, I mean, you probably don't get knocked out to when you locked in right there. That's a beautiful forex run right there. I mean, you catch, you catch all of that. So second entries are. There, it's not just a, it's definitely not just a binary options thing. I mean, I learned it in the futures market. So this setup works wherever you take price action, which is exactly why I trade price action because I can take it anywhere. <laughs> I can trade it in the binary options market. I can trade it in the futures market and I can trade in Forex all with the same setup. All right. So that was a short example. I'm speed it up here. I don't want the video to get too long. Let's look at a long example. All right, so we're looking at the pound Audi. So if we start right here, grab me a circle. If we start right here, what's happening? If I can easily glance at the on EMA, we're trending up, right? Or we can, you know, look at the higher lows. Are we making higher lows and lower highs? Um, Try to come back. This is a low pushed up. Try to come back. This is higher. Try to push up. Come back. This is higher. Try to push up. This is higher. Try to push up. Come back. This is higher. So we're making higher lows and higher highs. This high is higher. 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 Remember, that's the second way you can do it. And then finally, we can draw a trend line, but we're not going to do it for the sake of time here because we learned this a second ago. So now we're trending up. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a high. This is where you start your count. So right here, bam, this was a high. And then we're looking for two legs back and we get it. This is the first leg back, all right? Remember, this is high, this one is lower, this one is lower, then bam, this was the first one that broke higher, okay? And then it kept going actually, so you would really mark it up here, all right? So that's your first entry. So this green candle here is your first entry. Again, you don't take first entries. Now here, now in the last example, the first entry would have won. This example, the first entry would have been a dismal loser. And this is why we don't take <laughs> first entries, okay? But if you wait for the two legs back like you're supposed to, this is leg one pushed up this is leg two all the way back to the ema that's beautiful when it happens that way so you clearly see two reds back can you see the two you can do it you can do it by looking at the high higher the prices or you can just color from the colors right if you just look at the color of this this is all a nice royal red back pushed up another royal red back that's two legs of correction right to the ema right to the average price okay and then as soon as the candle breaks higher, which let me get the arrow when this candle right here, this boy, right? Let me make it big. When this boy right here broke higher than the candle to the left, this is your second entry. Here's the high push down first entry, push down second entry long. You go right there again. Three minute trade, binary options, one, two, three, that's a win. Futures, you enter right here, you put your stop down here, never gets near it, you easily get one point, that's a win. This one, you got a real good chance of getting a runner. I mean, a real good chance. <clears throat> Depending on when it, when it clicked out, man, if your stop was like, if you locked in right here, I don't know, this one, this candle might've got you. Might've got your runner again. 
But if you gave your runner a little space, you caught that runner. And this was a boom, boom, and boom. That was that's a and that's a big boy right there. That's a 10, 20. That's a 10. That's at least that's 10 for sure. That might be 20 point run right there in the futures market off of a second entry. That's a beauty. Let me point something else out that I didn't teach you on the last down example. Again, we understand that the market moves in twos. So this is one leg. When we got this high right here, we're expecting another leg of this distance, which we pretty much made it right there. The market moves in twos. And so do you see how the second entry is the center of the pattern? Bam, right there. So if you just focus on finding a trend, recognizing the trend in market, find a high and wait for two legs of correction. You can take second entries all day long. And in many cases, it will be the only trade you need. Like you don't have to take 20, 30, 40 trades a day. No, you can wait for one solid second entry and make enough money to be making money. Okay. <laughs> one second entry, you could be making enough money to be making money. Um, but now I'm going to show you a uh, setup in the futures market that I actually took today. And then I'll show you the little video clip of it. I have to speed it up. Um, I didn't get my 10 point runner. I was up seven, seven points. I probably should have locked in and I didn't. Hey, it happens. But um, I'm going to show you the setup here and then I'll run a video for you at the end here. So hang in there with us. But let me let me jump over to the futures market. Okay, so let me show you this working from that same premise um, that I just taught you. Let me take this off. Okay, this was the high, right? It pushed down, then pushed back up. This, uh, as, small as, it is, as small as it is, I, you know, I consider the first entry. It's because this was the high, we pushed down, then we came back up, and then we pushed down hard right here. And this is all happening. This candle here was at the open. And so typically, if you don't know in the futures market, whatever it does first is going to reverse. And it, shot, it started pushing down first, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And then this candle came in, pushed down. And when this candle shot back up and closed on its top right there, that was my entry all day long for a second entry long going with trend. Because if we look over here, we've been we've been above the 21 EMA. We broke under for a second. So I'm expecting another leg of this distance, which it didn't make today. But it got me my one point scalp, actually two points. Uh, I scalped out two points on this. Got me my two point scalp. And like I say, it was so close to a 10 point run. I got a seven, I mean, it went seven points. I didn't lock in. That's on me. I was trying to get to 10, um, but still I got my scalpers profit. And it's, it, was, it was just a push down first entry, push down second entry long. Okay, so the this setup works in futures. It works in Forex, it works in binary options, it works wherever there is price action, okay? So, I hope this helps you out. Learn price action, learn one setup. You know, in my course I have plenty of setups for everybody. If you're a long-term trader, I got you. If you're a scalper, I got you. If you're a swing trader, I got you. So whatever your flavor, you're gonna find in there, all right? So price action is the key learn it learn it practice it practice it practice it practice it practice it and hey try to stick to one setup it is it, you know if the say if the second entry didn't tickle your fancy that's fine look into range phase all right or maybe look into some i'm gonna have to lay out which is higher lows lower highs because they are pretty significant setup too that happens all the time all right so that's going to wrap it up for me in this one. Please, this is a great time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to roll the video. I didn't forget. We're going to roll this video. It's going to be real short. It's going to be real short. I wasn't in the trade that long. And like I say, I didn't make it to 10 points, so I'm not going to roll it all the way to the end. But you'll see the second entry work and how quick, it, how quick you can grab two points in the futures market taking second entries. All right? So I'm signing off with that. My name is JD. And as always, I wish you increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye. Guys, I totally forgot I deleted that video because I was like, don't nobody want to see this two-point scalp that didn't make it to 10 points. But hey, sorry, I'll get you guys next time. So learn some more price action. Check out this video.